Right. Well, that's officially first of the first 2016. At the time I'm recording this. It's actually one o'clock in the morning. Uh, got some shopping I need to put away. Such as my butter. Mum very kindly got me these from um, Tesco's because I uh, let's turn a light on that might help <laughs> my ears have gone a bit funny because I've been listening to music a little bit too loud through the headphones again anyway yeah mum got this for me and my brother to use over Christmas and it actually tastes pretty good for a um, low fat one and um, it doesn't slide off the knife either because one thing I don't like about using low fat spreads like this or margarine whatever you want to call it is uh, I find it doesn't stick to the knife and it tends to slide off and it's a pain in the ass to spread because of it um, but that stuff doesn't, that's good stuff and it tastes pretty damn good as well so I've got mum to, because I don't have a Tesco's near me so mum picks it up, I'm going to be playing some free roam on there in a minute uh, she also picked me up some beans because they have a lot less sugar in them and be honest, taste better than um, Sainsbury's Basics. To be honest, so I'll go and put these in the cupboard later, or in the morning, or whenever I can be asked. Plus, they bought some new cordless phones because they were using this one, but um, because my stepdad spends quite a bit of time, especially this time of year, up in the attic playing with the model railway and working on that um, and this was down in the lounge it wasn't really practical for him to try and get down the ladder in a hurry to answer the phone only to find that people have hung up before he even gets there which was annoying for him as well so he bought some cordless phones a pair of them to solve that problem and mum gave me this one which uh, yeah it's got the dopey big but well I say don't be big buttons that's not actually fair to say they are big buttoned for a reason because this is actually designed originally for someone with um, perhaps partial vision or partial hearing because this has got this flashes along the bottom here as well and there's all volume controls and the buttons are easy to press and whatnot got something stuck in my mouth Bugger off. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that'll do. I can hang it on the wall like that as well if I want to, but I've got to try and get that little catch just in there pushed up so this hooks onto it. Because if I don't, then this just falls. Ooh. I may want to find another cable for this as well. Oh dear. <laughs> um, that grey one on that one will fit. I can try that the same bloody cable <laughs> it's a, I know the phone works because I've spoken to mum perfectly fine on it so I will uh, in the morning swap that over uh, and um, the Katali charity shop in the town centre well I actually thought they were closing because they were clearing a load of crap out of it or well, that's not fair to say a load of stuff out of it um, but they're not. They're actually moving to the charity shop that's actually up near me. It's just up this end of town. Um, so I suppose to save on costs, they're closing one down. And they were selling all this stuff off. Everything in the shop was 25 pence. Everything. So, as I had some change in my pocket, I decided to take advantage of that sale and uh, grab more games. So I grabbed more games. What have I got? Comanche 3. I got this one because I couldn't get the other one to work. But I don't know if it was just me doing something wrong, more than likely. Uh, Toka 2. Touring cars. I've got that for the PlayStation 1, so I don't really know why I bought it. What have we got? PS2 game. The Operative. No One Lives. Forever. 
Looks like a nice FPS game. Don't ask. I like cats. Um, I found this, which I thought was quite apt for me, because I like Lego. <laughs> and I like trains, so why not get a gang? Uh, Gangster t Gangsters 2. Just because I felt that might be interesting. I don't know. And the last one was Zoo Tycoon. Again, I don't really... No, I think that. I know. thought that was still wrapped in its cellophane for a second there. Uh, did I pour myself a Coke? I did. Had my pill, haven't I? Yes, I had that before I ate my shepherd's pie. Because, uh... I haven't actually been taking my pills correctly. I don't think it actually makes that much difference, because it's always brought my sugars down anyway. But um, they do say for my diabetic pills, I'm supposed to either take them before I sit and eat a meal, so I before I sit and eat breakfast, and preferably before dinner in the afternoons, you know, my last meal. Um, but I usually take them after each meal. But to be honest, I've actually switched and I haven't been taking them before meals. And I haven't really noticed any difference, to be honest. So, Or you can sort of start eating your meal and take them halfway through. Um, but to be honest, like I said, I've done sort of all of those and I really haven't noticed any difference. So, I could be wrong, it might just be me, but I've not noticed anything. Good. That looks like that's where I want to be. One of my favourite free run spots is around Sha Shandy? Shandy. Sandy Shores for some reason, not Shandy Shores. But yeah, it's one o'clock in the morning, so I'm not spending an hour, or just over an hour, probably free roaming. I'm not going to do any missions tonight. I'll just spend about an hour blasting my lug holes out with music. Oh, my ears have actually settled now, I can hear properly. I probably should stop <laughs> doing that with the headphones, or at least use them, but crank the volume down a little bit. Uh, well, for me, Christmas is officially over. I know there's still technically 12 days of Christmas, but... You know, you go in the shops, they're all getting rid of their Christmas decorations and putting in all their other stock. They've got their sales on, you know. So just by New Year's, or after New Year's Day, you know, to me, just out the Christmas feel has gone, so to me, Christmas is over. Um, yeah. And the other sad thing is, three years ago today, Mum lost her dog Kylie. Yeah, what a day to go. New Year's Day. Not one we'd forget. You cannot forget that day, you know. It won't be a case of, oh, what day was it she died on? I can't remember. Uh, she she wasn't old, but she was poorly, bless her. Um, we'd known for a while she'd had these lumps in a few places on her. Um, which actually turned out to be cancer and it spread so far there just was no hope it was just a waiting game basically but uh, at least she's not suffering now that's the main thing oh, I shouldn't think she was um, well actually I'll give her credit there she did a bloody good job of actually hiding how sick she actually was I don't know if anyone else has noticed that but some dogs are pretty good at doing that. Yeah. She was quite a character as well. Typical Labrador. Always thought she was a lap dog. Even though she was far too big to be a lap dog. <laughs> right, well I'm going to end the video. I think I can't think. Uh, if you're wondering what I did there... When I put the first picture up asking for help on my face, well, on my Facebook account and whatnot, one of my friends actually said, "You've um, replicated the town's highways department really well." 
And he said all I needed was some work, uh, um, six workers standing around staring at it and trying to think what to do for six weeks. In other words, standing around doing nothing. So, <laughs> so that's exactly what I did and I took a photo. There is actually six figures here because there's one figure in that truck and one in that truck. <laughs> I will put it back together but I wanted to take it apart anyway because I wanted to try and move the coffee table that way a little bit um, just so I could squeeze a bit more road on more than anything <coughs> oh pardon me because I might try as a lot of people have suggested putting two of these base plates together so the hill or the incline I should say wouldn't be as steep the st the incline doesn't really bother me, but some people say that's not realistic. Well, to me, it's my Lego town, and I'm not aiming for it to be realistic. <laughs> I mean, well, actually, I was going to say, what sort of town has that sort of chaos in the middle of a road? But yeah, that does happen. <laughs> There's nothing actually going on there. That's just where I sat the vehicles. Oh dear. Right, well I suppose my Christmas scene here can uh, be dismantled as well. But uh, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Happy New Year. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Hi guys, I'm doing uh, tonight's video from the new camera, as you can probably tell. I hope. So, I just got back from Mum's, it is New Year's Eve. I could have stayed the night, but I don't sleep very well. You little shitbag cat. Ooh, I'm going to have to kick your ass. That is unlike you, mister. I'll show you what he's done in a minute. Um... It really is unlike him, actually. He's um, ripped the bag open, the rubbish bag open, and got the chicken bones out. He hasn't eaten the bones, but there is a mess on the floor, and it does mean... It does mean... Um, I'm going to have to put it in another bag before I take it down. All right, let me pick you up. Put your back on the hand. Get the strap in place. Right. Get my glass ready for a drink. Yeah, look at that. I might just be able to make out some bones on the floor, the little bugger. He hasn't made a huge mess though, so I can't complain too much. One right in the middle of the floor. Alright, this camera doesn't like the dark. Ah, well I've just remembered this has another neat trick on it. If I just say point it at something dark again and I go... We have some... sort of light on the front. <laughs> See? If I just uh, press the button again... Light goes off. Well, it is a, it's a little bit of a help. <laughs> it's got a couple of um, little LEDs in the front there. So that's another neat little feature. They're, obviously they're not the brightest, but they're a help at least. So not a complete waste. <laughs> right. Um, I want a drink. That's what I want. I'm getting a little peckish. So mum gave me this. I've got to heat up in the microwave. Is it in a microwavable dish? Yes it is. It's shepherd's pie. I think that's what that's meant to be anyway. It looks like something Trevor Phillips on GTA has uh, cooked up. but Well actually it doesn't look nowhere near as bad as that to be honest. Uh, I'll just throw that in the microwave. A little bit of salt on it. Ooh, 
forgot to pick that coleslaw up because the pot fell, up, so, fell off the work. Ah, for fuck's sake, try again. The pot fell off the worktop and landed upside down on the floor. I want. Got it. La da da da. Now I'll put my glass over there. Now, why did I do that? I'm not sure if I'm going to play any GTA tonight because it is 20 past 11. It is getting late. Uh, if I play any GTA, I'll probably just mess around on some free roaming or something because I can't be bothered to do any missions tonight. Uh, if I get round to that, because actually all I really want to do is sit at the computer, put some headphones on and just chill for a little while. Uh, once I've just heated that up and ate it. Hang on. Light! Oh, actually. Oh, it does help. They're not actually that bad. It's not very useful as a torch, but for some reason that does actually help the camera. Well, I don't know how that sort of technology works, I just use it. Well, there we go. Hell, that does actually make a big difference. Wow, that's impressive. Right, I'm going to have to uh, just use my mouse left-handed. Click on that. Click on that. I should sign me in. Alright, well I'm going to grab some munch, because I am peckish. Uh, and then I'll come back, so uh, talk to you in a bit. <laughs>